start off this evening with Benjamin Mendy. Obviously found innocence of the alleged crimes against him last year. There were all the reports about him kind of suing Man City, who stopped paying him during this process. But he has come out today and not only slammed Manchester City for causing him huge financial problems during this period. He has also, as everyone can see here, come out and spoke about several first team players, including the club captain at the time, were all present at the parties that he attended and hosted. He said, we all drunk alcohol. We all had casual relationships with women. We all breached COVID-19 restrictions. They were moving like Boris Johnson, you know. This does not excuse my behavior, but I felt that it is unfair of Man City to single me out in the way they have. The difference between me and the other City players is that I was the one who was falsely accused and publicly humiliated. But he is he's coming out here. He's, he's slamming Manchester City. What, what do we make of this? Because obviously he's been left in a real financial hole. He has in the court of law been found not guilty and that you know that's that is what it is right now none of us have any additional information but attacking the club captain the way city treated him and, and essentially saying they knew that loads of players were there doing that they covered that up and only kind of punished me because obviously when he did this as well it was covid i remember going out back then like if you went out for a walk some people wanted you arrested like what, what do we make of what benjamin mendy saying here I mean, you know how it is as like a guy in terms of with certain things. It's like you're almost guilty. It's like automatically. So with things like that, your reputation is always going to be kind of tarnished. Um, I, I think, you know, he's not wrong in terms of him being upset and him saying that there were other players that were there as well. But because he's the one that got accused of that. Of course, they're going to kind of single him out and they're not going to focus yeah. on maybe what else was going on. But yeah, I mean, his reputation's done. And I mean, he's legally been found innocent. And now to this day, people are still calling him, you know, a certain word that's associated with what he was accused with. It's like nobody cares. So, you know, just how it is. Um, you know, life's not if, fair. And, you know, I'm him. Sucks. If I'm him, I'm doubling down on this slander of City. Like, because they, they took the piss, they threw me out to dry. And they're not coming in to like support or apologize or say sorry. Like they suspended all his wages. I don't. I don't know if he got them all back. That's basically saying he's guilty without being proven. No, but let's be honest here. Yeah. It. it I don't think City were wrong for doing what they done. We all, everyone in the, in less in the court of, we all, bro? you know, we, social we, court and like social media court across everyone else. Everyone had him down as guilty. There was so many. Who's everyone, powers. bro? Speak for yourself. Oh, he, he was guilty until proven innocent. No, what everyone thought he was guilty until he got proven innocent. And cool, he Who's got everyone, guilty. George. I don't understand. Who's but why'd you think that though? Just because he was yeah, just accused. So it's just really like, 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 but, but yeah, like, wow. like, why'd you think that he was automatically guilty? No, I, I'm saying, but that was what was you're, out you're there. You're saying he, the he, general, consensus, on the general media, consensus was, was that he was guilty. I don't think what City done was wrong to stop his wages at the time. And for him right now to do, oh, it wasn't just me. It was him. It was him. It was him. It's just doing like the blame game now because you're the one that got caught. You're the one that got singled, singled out. It wasn't the guys that caught you. Caught was, doing what though? But it was the girls that accused you. It was girls. It wasn't like the other players got accused of the actions he got accused of. They uh, haven't been he, he got caught doing stuff during COVID, not... The, the allegations, the allegations were false, bro. No, I know, what, but he so, got accused. He's so the he one that got, yeah. I, I, boy, boy, I, I, I do get your, I, I get both your arguments here. I, I, you know, what I find as a Man United fan is this: we were absolutely ridiculed for continuing to. We suspended, but continued to pay Mason Greenwood. Mm. And obviously, we never got to see the full truth because it never went through the court of law. So, everyone has their opinion on that situation. But nobody 100% knows everything because the court didn't, the court case didn't happen. But I can understand why, again, sometimes hindsight's lucrative. I can understand now with it, the case falling down, why Man United did what they did because they could have found themselves in a situation where they were being sued for even more money because your club's suspending pay against you. I think where George is right to a degree is it sends a message to everybody while well, the club are not backing him. Like, look, you know, why have the club not backed him? What do they know that we don't, as an example? And I think as, you know, we, we have a, you know, I'm, I'm speaking hypothetically here, but this is the way the mindset of people work. So I, I kind of get why Benjamin Mendy is frustrated at his employers because he needed money to defend. I mean, it, he also speaks about Raheem Sterling and a few other players who are lending him money to be able to feed his kids 
uh, to be able to pay for his legal fees during that time. So I, I do get his frustration. The only element I'm, I'm probably not, I don't know, maybe it's a guy thing. I'm a bit like, don't throw your other guy, other friends under the bus, dear, like for doing, not that they did anything illegal, as he said, but well, I suppose breaking COVID restrictions were at that point, but that's the only bit I don't like. You ain't, ain't got to throw your fellow teammates under a bus. Yeah, maybe never, that's just me. Do you, think this plays, do you think this plays a part as well? Like, I know it, what he was, um, what he allegedly did was bad, but the fact he wasn't integral to Man City, because let's be honest, I think the first six months he was cold for them, and then he the, he was injury prone. I think he was injury prone most of his of, of his City career, and that was one mm. of the first signings of Pep's tenure. I think had it have been a player that was proper integral to them winning a Bernardo and Aguero or whatnot. I think Man City would have backed the player a bit more. I'm not saying it's right, but I thought they would. The fact he was so injury prone and kind of surplus to requirements majority of his City career, I no, think that's no. also why they just threw him under the bus even more. Well, Liverpool did something. Well, obviously, Liverpool, we all know, stood by um, uh, Luis Suarez when he did his stuff. But wasn't it your young... Well, didn't your young wing-back, full-back, Flanagan, have a Flanagan. situation with his wife and, boom, straight away kicked out the club? And it was almost... Very easy to throw someone out the club who isn't wanted, isn't needed, surplus to requirements. Very different than when it's your star player, I suppose. True to an extent, but th there was like evidence for Flanagan, like which couldn't be disputed with that one. So it, that it was more of an easy decision. But you're right because we saw what happened with Luis Suarez and the club back Suarez when they shouldn't have really done that either. I think with the Benjamin Mendy one, I think I get where George and and Kunle are both coming from. For me though, if you're going to suspend his pay. The moment he's found innocent, I think you should pay him back. And I think straight, you should be as, uh, I think should be as loud yeah, as the, the apology should be as loud as the accusation, in my opinion. So uh, if you've yeah. suspended him and suspended his pay, when he's found guilty, for me, you put out a statement going, Benjamin Mendy has been found guilty, sorry, found innocent. Therefore, as a club, we are now going to do this and we wish him the best in his future endeavours or whatever you want to say. But yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, there's, there's no um, consistency. You, you're very quick to put yourself in the front of the media to show how much you're distancing yourself from someone but at the moment that they're found innocent it's all quiet for me that's where i think the inconsistency is but, but yeah it's a difficult it's a horrible situation to be no, in no, but... it's, it certainly is and it's it it, it 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 is a difficult one one thing i will say it shows about man city and this is a positive is they're very they remind me of man united in the 90s in terms of keeping things under wraps Outside of, they couldn't do it with Benjamin Mendy because it was a public situation. But the fact that you rarely, how many of our clubs, I know Man United, everything we do wrong comes out, leaks, everybody finds out, every, every, every little problem a player has. City players were having parties in COVID, mad wild parties, and none of us knew about it until now. Like, there's, a, there's an element there where I'm envious of how good their club is. Sh I mean, I don't know what they're doing to shut down the story. I mean, Fergie had like spies all over Manchester, legitimately. Every 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 nightclub, bar, restaurant, he had people on the payroll that would feed him information, if that made sense, so they could get players out of bad situations and things like that. But it does show how well, look, whether people like this or not, it shows how well run they are. They're able to, I mean, the government of England couldn't stop their party from leaking. Man City did. That for me, I've got I've got to say, well done. I've got to say, you well done for stopping the parties from leaking. It's crazy. Yeah, but did like you need him to come out and say that they were having parties? Like, I think you, you could like assume that players were breaking COVID violations, right? Like, I feel like that'd have been a safe assumption. Like, I don't think that he really revealed like anything that's too surprising. Like, Probably. they live in a they live in like a different world than like what we live in with like the resources and money that, that they have. I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of players were breaking code. Yeah, but Terry's like, saying that the, the, the fact that they didn't it didn't leak. It didn't now, leak. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I reckon mo I mean, most people, most most of us were. Like I when they allowed you to have like four or five people come around, I had a barbecue and there were 75 people in my house. It we and it was one that we invited a lot of people. And I just didn't think everyone would come, right? I always over invite. But because everyone had been locked up for four or five months, everybody came. Like, the, my street, right? The cars on my street, it was like, oh, we're getting in trouble, man. Like, it was, it was just full of people. And where I live, like, like the, my friends, when they were getting out of the cars, they all stood out as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this area had never seen anything like it before. It was a madness. And I was like, oh, we are getting in trouble today. But it was a good party, that was. Great party. Other, other than my brother, I pushed him in the pool and he banged his head. He had to go home early. 
Sorry, bro. Still feel guilty about that. His kids, his kids still talk about it. They're like, remember when you hurt my daddy by pushing him in the pool? Like, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Cal, you're going to say something. No, I was going to say, even though they kept it under wraps, I think from the court case, names did come out. And two names that did come out, they've kind of just been completely absolved. I, again, I, I really want to put their names out there. I think everyone kind of knows who the, the two Man City players are. They're both England internationals, but... Nothing came of that. They I don't know. Just... I'm gonna hazard a guess. I don't know either. Must Cal, be, yeah, yeah. Well, Carl Walker must be walking. Like, really. Walker's always <laughs> doing the madness. I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think we know who the two are. Right, one's a right back. One's a player that plays on the wing for them. Can also play in the ten. But they were mentioned in the actual court case. Like they were actually mentioned, and the media knew the names. And again, nothing uh, came of that. Nothing either. really. I mean, I mean Carl there. Walker. I, like, I swear, I've seen a video of Carl Walker with dog food. Everything like that man has done some crazy stuff. He's he done some crazy. Was it like, was it there a picture of Greenish on her bed? That <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you remember that picture? Was the happy like he's like, so happy? He's just <laughs> yeah. so happy to be there. Like big yeah, wonder. Yeah. But like. How were they mentioned though? Like, what was the capacity that they were mentioned in? Like, oh, like they were just at the party too, or like, how were they mentioned in the court case? I think they were mentioned. Ah, uh, because like if they really were just wanna... at the party, then it's like I don't really think nah, that's the nah. Right, nah. One of them were. Oh, they were active. active. They were active, bro. That's yeah, cool. very oh, okay, active. Okay, 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 okay. Very active. I, I'd, I'd prefer <laughs> not to say online. I'd prefer <laughs> yeah, not to yeah, say yeah. Online. I think you know what active means. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. In fairness, active. with Carl Walker, a lot of Carl Walker stuff is so public. You're allowed to. Talk, I suppose you're allowed to talk yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, he was in trouble recently at a bar for like. I've seen the video. Like, you know, getting a bit. I mean, it. it yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on yeah, from Carl yeah. Walker. <laughs> Great player, though. But um, he's, he's a boy. In my day, he'd have been called a boy. But oh, he's a boy, isn't he? Like, he's a boy. Um, speaking of Man City, though. Speaking of... Oh, hang on a second. Um, Mendy was jowled for some time, though. He was. He was He was, He was. was remanded, uh, which is obviously crazy. Surely, surely he should get compensation for that, though. Like, if, you, if, you, if you've had your, your wages deducted and, you're, and you've done prison time, there's got to be some sort of conversation now that you'll get now that you're innocent. Sorry, bro. Have you the seen City's lawyers? He might be lucky to get about four be. quid. There's Their lawyers are good. Be. Their <laughs> lawyers are good. You know, um, no, he should. He, he definitely should because he, he had his pay stopped. And again, it's not my opinion. He's been found not guilty in a court of law, and there's not much to be done. Eddie here says, Terry, why not talk about Hugo Verana replacing uh, Cheeky, which is more big breaking news. Mendy news is unnecessary on a podcast talk. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It's huge news. Um, I'm sure, Eddie, I'm going to say this to you. If this was a Man United player talking about Greenwood, I'm sure, I don't know if you would have tweeted this. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. But we talk about these subjects regularly on the football terrace and I wanted to get the boys' opinions because it's it's huge. Um, it really is. Um, but there we go. 